Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Please be seated. I think the president had his word that I was fired because of the Russia investigation. The administration then chose to defame me and, more importantly, the FBI by saying that the organization was in disarray, that it was poorly led, that the workforce had lost confidence in its leader. Those were lies, plain and simple. I don't think it's for me to say whether the conversation I had with the president was an effort to obstruct. I took it as a very disturbing thing, very concerning. What was it about that meeting that led you to determine that you needed to start putting down a written record? I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting, and so I thought it really important to document. Did the president at any time ask you to stop the FBI investigation into Russian involvement in the 2016 U.S. elections? Not to my understanding, no. A lot of this comes down to who should we believe. Do you want to say anything as to why we should believe you? A really significant fact to me is, so why did he kick everybody out of the Oval Office? Why would you kick the Attorney General, the President, the Chief of Staff out to talk to me if it was about something else? And so that, that to me, is a, as an investigator, is a very significant fact. I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. It's a fair judgment, it's my judgment, that I was fired because of the Russia investigation. I was fired in some way to change, or the endeavor was to change the way the Russia investigation was being conducted. That is, a, that is a very big deal, and not just because it involves me. The nature of the FBI and the nature of its work requires that it not be um, the subject of political consideration.